Imitating a RoboCup soccer player using case-based reasoning. Our research examines the ability of a software agent to imitate the behavior of humans, robots, or other agents. Learning through imitation allows the transfer of knowledge from an expert without the expert performing any programming. Our goal is to have a multi-purpose robot or software agent that can be reprogrammed to perform a new task simply by observing someone else perform that task. In this video, we will imitate RoboCup soccer agents. In simulated RoboCup soccer, the server simulates a soccer game, handles communication with the players, and enforces the rules of the game. The players connect to the server and receive information about what they can see and hear at regular time intervals. In response, they can perform actions like kicking the ball, dashing, and turning. Let's look at a game of soccer, where each of the players is controlled by a software agent. The red team is made up of imitators, but right now they aren't moving or doing anything useful at all. That is because they have yet to observe another soccer player, so they have nothing to imitate. In fact, they don't even know they are involved in a soccer game or any of the rules. So how exactly does the imitating agent observe a teacher? The agent learns from a teacher by memorizing what the teacher sees at a specific moment in time, as well as the action the teacher performs immediately after. This is like taking a snapshot of the teacher's vision, and then pairing that snapshot with the teacher's action. In a case-based reasoning sense, the teacher's vision is the problem, and the performed action is the solution to that problem. We call the vision-action pair a case. Right now, we are looking at the soccer field through the view of the agent. The agent only has a limited view of the field and can only see objects that are within its field of vision. We can see that the number of objects within the agent's field of vision change as the objects move or as the agent moves around the soccer field. As well, there is some noise in what it sees, and the further an object is away from the agent, the less precisely the agent is able to know the object's exact location. Also, the agent may not be able to uniquely identify a particular object that it sees. For example, the agent might know that it sees a teammate, but not which particular teammate it sees. After observing the teacher for some amount of time, the imitating agent will have memorized a number of cases that it will store in a case base. When the imitating agent plays soccer, it will be presented with its own vision of the field. It will then compare its vision with the visions that it has stored in the cases in the case base. What the agent is trying to do is to find a memorized situation that is most similar to its current situation so it can act just like the teacher would. Once the agent finds the case with the most similar vision, it can then use the action from that case in an attempt to behave like the teacher. Just like before, we have the blue team made up of the original agents and the red team made up of the imitating agents. The red team is using a case base that was created by watching one of the players on the blue team play a single game of soccer. Not only are the players actually moving around this time, but they are doing a fairly good job at imitating the behavior of the blue team. Just like the blue team, they are locating the ball, running towards it, and kicking the ball towards the opponent's goal. More importantly, if I had not told you, would you even known that there was any difference between the two teams? And look, the imitators are even about to score a goal. Pretty good for a team that didn't even know how to move a few minutes ago. Again, we have two teams of soccer playing agents. The only difference is that now seven of the players are the original agents, but one is the imitator. Can you guess which of them is the imitator? None of the players are doing anything significantly different from the others, so the imitator isn't giving us any obvious clues, like making a blatant mistake. It must be doing a fairly good job if it is difficult to distinguish it from the originals. Have you found out which one it is yet? The correct answer is number four on the blue team. So far we have imitated fairly simple teams, but what about more complex ones? That is still a work in progress, as you can clearly see. Our agents have trouble imitating multi-state agents and agents that rely heavily on communication. The team we are imitating has multiple states of behavior, so cases in the case base come from a variety of states. Our agent doesn't know that, so they don't consistently select cases related to the same state, resulting in the confused behavior you see. For project news, source code, and data, visit our website at rcscene.sf.net.